Hi, this is Jeannie with Four Paws Acupuncture, and as I'm laying here in pain with my broken ankle and sprained ankle, yada, 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 we're all over it, right? I thought I would revive this video that I created for another class, and this is all about the foods that make pain worse. This is specifically for humans, but it would apply to dogs, too, if you feed your dogs any of these foods created this class I think during the pandemic or around that time for an online class I have on Udemy I'll put the link down below with a sale price for you if you're interested uh, that's this is not the purpose of this video though and the class was is relieving pain and symptoms of arthritis naturally now it was geared towards humans and this class can also apply to dogs, some of the information, but it's mostly for humans. Please do not hate the messenger. One of the things that really exacerbates pain is gluten. Gluten is a group of proteins in wheat, barley, rye, and triticale. Research has shown that it may cause inflammation and exacerbate arthritis symptoms. People with celiac disease are at great risk to developing RA, rheumatoid arthritis, if they consume too much gluten. Um, in my own personal veterinary practice, I have found that if I can talk the dog owner out of uh, feeding the dog anything with gluten or wheat in it, if the dog has arthritis or hip problems, it really helps uh, reduce the pain and symptoms of arthritis. So it's hard to give up gluten i realize that um, even if you just cut back on it you'll probably notice a difference it usually takes about two weeks to get out of your body so if you go completely gluten free it'll be a hard two weeks because you're so used to having things like pasta and bread and things like that however within two weeks you should lose some weight and the pain should be reduced sugar Research has shown that sugar increases inflammation and arthritis symptoms. Once again, it's really hard to give up sugar. But once you get used to it, it's not so bad. And sugar is in everything. So always read the ingredients of anything you buy, especially canned goods and, and bottled products like ketchup and salad dressing and things like that that you wouldn't expect sugar to be in. Processed red meats like salami and bologna and uh, cold cuts and things like that. Uh, some research has found that red and processed meat may cause inflammation in the body. This will increase arthritic symptoms. Processed red meats may also cause or exacerbate gout symptoms. Highly processed foods. Now this is pretty much common sense. We all know that these items like fast food and soda and breakfast cereals and those other prepackaged foods that you find that are in convenience stores, places like that, are very high in sugar, refined grains and preservatives. And of course, they are going to worsen the pain and arthritic symptoms. Plus, you'll gain weight if you eat this kind of food. Alcohol. Alcohol is another substance that's going to exacerbate inflammation and arthritis symptoms. And alcohol also increases gout symptoms and pains. It's one of the main causes of gout. Fried foods. Fried foods are cooked in oils that are high in saturated fat and omega-6 fatty acids. Remember, omega-3 fatty acids are the good ones. And these have been found to increase inflammation in the body. Fried foods also have other ingredients like salt and added sugar and gluten and breading, which increases pain and inflammation as well. And once again, these will put weight on you. The nightshade family. The nightshade family is a family of vegetables that we pretty much all love, right? Tomatoes white potatoes, eggplant, and bell peppers. There's a lot of controversy about nightshade vegetables if they actually do induce inflammation. Uh, some people, they will notice that if they live on these kinds of food, they will have more arthritic pain. Others, not so much. I think it depends on your body. Personally, 
I love these vegetables. I am Italian and a vegetarian and I grew up on these things and I still love to grow them in my garden and eat them. But I do notice that if I have too much of them, my uh, back will start hurting or my knees start cracking. So it's one of those things that you want to see if there's a pattern when you eat them. If you start having more pain after a few meals of these things, then cut back for a little bit. The Misery Journal is a book that I created for myself, actually. I was in a lot of pain after I had COVID back in 2020. And I created a log book for myself to help me figure out what was making my pain worse, what time of day, the weather, things like that, and what was making it better. So I decided to just uh, make it available to patients and to the rest of the human race. It's on Amazon. I completely forgot that I wrote it, honestly, until I was redoing this video. So um, sometimes I will make copies of pages in this book and give it to my human patients so they can track their pain. If you have a dog in pain, our book Barkopedia is available on Amazon and it has all kinds of information on how to ease your dog's pain, acupressure, acupuncture, uh, homeopathic remedies, herbal remedies, nutrition, anything your dog wants you to know, it's in this book. It's on Amazon and I think it's the best book I've written so far. For more information on holistic pet services, barking Zoom consultations, online classes and books for people and pets, visit the Four Paws Acupuncture website, fourpawsacupuncture.com. Thanks so much for watching. Have a possum day.